Now, in this lecture, we're going to understand how to get the data from the database table and display them using a simple PHP class. In the previous lecture, you understand how to create a MySQL connection using object-oriented programming. Now, let's take a step ahead and understand how to get all the data from the database table and display them in the browser. Using object-oriented programming, it's super easy to get data from the database. You can use the same method to get the data from any table in the database. If you're using standard PHP code to get the data from the database table, then you're making a mistake. Object-oriented helps you to reuse the code multiple times, so you don't have to repeat yourself to get the data from the different table as well. Let me show you a very simple technique to get the data from the database. So I'm going to first require the controller.php where we have the connection of the database. If you want to know how to create a connection, on the top right corner of the screen, you can find the previous tutorial of connection. Just out of that, here I'm going to create a new class. So I'm going to start with the class keyword and then specify the name for this class. And now I'm going to extend this class and I'm going to specify extend and specify controller. In this class, I have the connection property. Just out of that, here I'm going to create a public function and specify the name get user. Now in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify argument. So I'm going to create a variable table and specify default argument to this table. You can notice I have a user table specified to this argument. And this is just default value. I'm going to specify to this variable. Now let me first show you the database table. So in the PHP my admin, I'm going to have a simple DB name database. And in this database, I have user table. In the user table, I have three columns, ID, name, and phone number. I'm going to just add some dummy data inside this table. And what I want, I want to get this data in my PHP program. So I'm going to specify the table name as a default value to this argument. Just so that, in this method, I'm going to create a result variable to store the result of the query and then pass this connection. So I'm going to get the property of the parent class. Now, just so that, I'm going to call a query method of the connection to execute a SQL query. And in the double quote, I'm going to say select star from and specify the table name. So as you know, in the SQL, to get the data of the table, you need to execute a select query. So I'm going to start with the select keyword, specify star to get all the data of the table and specify from. So I'm going to specify here table. So in the curly braces, I'm going to pass this argument value. Now, once this statement is executed, this will just return the result in this variable. And then I'm going to create a new result array and specify empty array to it. Just out of that, I'm going to create a while loop here. And in this while loop, so I'm going to create an item variable is equal to my SQLi fetch array. So my SQLi fetch array fetch one row of the data from the result set and return it. This function is going to get that row and store them in this variable. And using this while loop, I'm going to get all the rows from this result variable. So I'm going to pass here result variable, just like this. And then I want to change the result of this my SQLi fetch array. So I'm going to pass my SQLi associative array. So this function is going to return associative array to this item variable. In this while loop, I'm going to call this result array. And in the square bracket, I'm going to specify this item. So on the different index, I'm going to just store all the rows we are going to get from this result. Just out of that, I'm going to just return this array. So once we have the result in this array, I'm going to just return it. Just out of that, I'm going to create a new object of this user data. So I'm going to create a new variable object, new user data. And as you know, we don't have any constructor to this class. So I'm going to leave this parenthesis as it is. Just out of that, I'm going to just say print. And then I'm going to call this object and call a method get user. Now, as you can notice, we have the default value to this argument. So we don't need to specify any parameter in this parenthesis. Now, when I execute this statement, it's going to return the result something like this. I'm going to have all the data of my table as a result. So now you can use this array and get your database data very easily. Now, as I said, you don't need to create this method again because this method can be used on multiple tables. For example, let's say you have product table and you want to get the data from the product table. You need to just specify here in the parenthesis of this get user, you need to specify the name of the table. I just wanted to get the data from the product table. So I'm going to specify the table name here and I'm going to have all the product using this get user method. Now you can notice you don't have to repeat yourself. Just practice with this code to get the data from your MySQL database. I hope you understand how to get the data from the database table. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.